do you know what this is? Yes, it's money, but let's say it's real. Then wouldn't you like to double it? What's up guys, it's Stefan here. And today's episode is something special and it's about how to invest. Exactly a year ago, my dad started talking to me about investing. He told me that you can use money not just for clicking purchase on Amazon, but investing in companies. Honestly, I had no idea what investing was, but then my dad told me that the easiest way to invest is when you buy a small piece of a company. And that piece of the company is called a share. So as you can see here, I made a small company and let's say a tiny share is this small piece. So what would happen if this company right here became a big one? Well, then this tiny share you just bought and let's say it's worth $1, it will become from $1 to $2. It will become from $2 to three dollars but there's also a risk about investment and that is that in maybe if the company has a bad product something goes wrong then this one dollar will turn into like let's say 75 cents 50 cents and even lower and they can turn into zero before I explain to you how to invest, I have to inform you that it's illegal for kids to invest unless they have an adult that can help them. Also, I, al <laughs> I was gonna say also, I also have to <laughs> Also, I have to tell you another hazard and that's I am not a professional advisor. This is only for your entertainment and investing is not a video game even though this money is monopoly money so here's how you do it you go to your mom and say can you please download Robinhood app to invest and if she says yes then she opens up an account then if you have any money you put it in the account but how are you gonna get the money how are you gonna get money for investing well you can save money. For example, let's say it's your birthday and you get some money. You just take that money and put it in your piggy bank. Another way is you can earn money. How to earn money is you just ask your parents, can I wash the car for $10? Can I mow the lawn for $10? You just go around the house, ask if you can help and do chores. You can also ask your neighbors. The final way is to sell stuff. How to sell stuff? Well, let's say you have like an extra toy, you have like an extra Lego box set that you don't even use. Well, you can just sell that stuff for money and again, put it in your piggy bank. So now you have money and all what's left to do is give that money to parents and ask them to put it into the account. So let's take a look at my Robinhood investing portfolio. I invested roughly about $620 a year, a year ago. And those $620 earned me $232. If we look at my stocks, let's say Target, Target, I bought it around March 2020 when it was only about $105 and now as you can see today it's worth $214. So I earned about $100 from Target. If we look at another one like let's say Zoom, I bought Zoom thinking that it was going to go up because of the pandemic and people were going to start using it for meetings and conferences and it did go up but the timing wasn't so well. 
if we look at another one, like let's say Snapchat, I bought Snapchat because people use it to text each other and talk about stuff. The stock where I lost money was this one, where I, I bought it around like, again, March 2020, and I lost $11 from the stock. So what's the minimum amount of money that you can start investing with? Well, with this app, you can invest with just a dollar. So if we find some penny stocks, like let's say energy, and if we look here, you can see all these, if you see all of these stocks, like this stock, it's worth 0 0.0046 dollars that's very little i don't even know how to explain this so if you want to find a good company you have to know what the company is making what the company is doing what the company is doing to help the world or stuff like that you should never buy the stock just by the price. Like, you should never buy this. I mean, maybe some people know what this is, but I don't know, so I'm not going to buy it. But maybe if I do research, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. I don't know. So that's it for today. Always be careful when you invest and never do this by yourself. Thanks for watching and see you next time.